wherever you get uncomfortable, you want to move a little bit closer because you want to feel more uncomfortable. Consult me anytime during the show. I'll move you super strong, constantly. <laughs> super great. We're off to a great start. Adorable. Are you guys excited? OG Smoke Break. Brought to you by the First Baptist Church Santa Monica. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Do we have any stoners in the crowd, I'd assume? Woo! Yeah. Anyone find this online and was like, thank God. <laughs> a comedy show that understands me as an individual and my need to sit still at all times. I don't know. Uh, I am not. <laughs> it was really interesting that I was invited to host the show because I do not smoke weed. No judgments. No judgments. No, that's why I bring diversity to it. That's why. <laughs> It's not, I don't have anything against, it's a great way to start, obviously. <laughs> I don't have anything against smoking weed, it's just not for me. Like, I don't, I don't give a shit, like my roommate smokes, I think it makes the apartment smell great. Um, I just don't, preferably, myself like to smoke it. It's kind of like shorts for me. I'm just like, oh, I see it, that's cool. Just not meant for my personality. <laughs> If you see me with either of those, uh, you should probably come talk to me. I'm probably going through something. <laughs> <laughs> Need to talk to you about some things. Um, I could never really get into weed though, because if you ever know, I'm sure it's a room of stoners, weed smells like two things, and that is soap and skunk. And I grew up in Texas, where skunks just like to end up in the road and get hit by cars. So in college, I would just show up to parties, walk into the room where people were smoking, and be like, who's washing all these dead skunks in this room? <laughs> and then I leave, because it was a painful time. <laughs> I've never really done that, uh, really any kind of drugs. Trust me, I'm still a fun person. Um, I, just, I don't really need them. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't trust myself like on psychedelics or anything that makes you like just dig deeper into oh, what, this hole. Um, I don't know, like, just to, just to give you an example, one time I ate way too much trail mix, <laughs> and I ended up in Canada. <laughs> I just kept going, you guys. I don't want to know what I'd be like on acid. I'm Lewis and Clark. That's what happened. <laughs> I am both of them. I envisioned a beautiful world and discovered new lands, those rainbows. Um, we'll get into some real material now. Uh, smooth segue. Um, <laughs> I'm 24. I guess I don't really look it though, because most people guess lesbian. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. Uh, but whatever. I, no one's forcing me to dress like a teen boy, so <laughs> that's cool. Um, I got uh, the other day. I got called. Uh, by not one, but two homeless men uh, called me sir. As I said, I do this to myself, whatever. Uh, which thank God for this voice, you guys. This little cartoon character living inside of me just wait till it pitch you Old Navy. Ah, oh, get him! Performance place! Hey! You know? And I've never, I've never had to find myself scream like, I'm a lady! At someone before, but I did. Um, good experiences. And they didn't even, they didn't even like pursue asking me for change. They didn't, didn't even really apologize, just kept on going. Like, oh, this is shit, cart. Um, but, <laughs> but both times, they went in the general direction towards an old navy. So, inspired, um, please hire me for things. <laughs> they were even with their shopping carts. Uh, I think it's really unfair that Dove is both the name of a brand of soap as well as chocolate. It sounds like that could lead to some really confusing situations. Imagine a loved one coming home and be like, hey honey, I bought you some Dove. Like, oh wow, that's so nice of you. But not to look a gift horse in the mouth. Is it chocolate or is it soap? Because I feel like whichever item you decided upon says a lot about how you view me as an individual. <laughs> Either regarding my hygiene or my eating habits. And they say neither. And you go, what? Twist! They go, I got you Doug the Bird because we're in love and we're getting married. I'm like, wait a minute, I want to break up. Because you said some Dove and that's poor grammar. <laughs> I'm leaving you. <laughs> it's a really intelligent joke. 
<laughs> I realized that someone once told me, like, you know, saying some dub is not technically grammatically incorrect. They could be being like, oh, you're some dub, like, oh, some old dub. Like, oh, either way, we're breaking up. Why aren't you excited about presents that you give me? <laughs> oh, you're some dub. Whatever. <laughs> I like when I'm uh, filling out an application, you have to put down a phone number and then an alternative phone number. For alternative phone number, I just always put the same phone number, but with an anarchy sign in front of it. <laughs> Get it! It's my, it's my punk rock number. Get me. <laughs> Call me at this if you ever want me to open up a bad religion. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> I was hoping. If anyone has any connections, I've always opened for, <laughs> open for bad religion. Um, I think, <laughs> you guys think that the story of the little engine that could uh, would be any different if he was on beta blockers? You know what beta blockers are? For the anxieties! Because ah! um, he's always like, <laughs> he's always like, I think I can, I think I can. It's like, shut the fuck up, little engine. You gotta know that you can. <laughs> How about you stop? around and be an emotional roller coaster because you're a train and you're on flat even ground. Now pull your shit together and get this lumber to Kansas City because we have a nation to build. Take one of these, be a little engine that does. It's also my next children's book, You're Welcome. Oh, what's next on my, what do I want to say? Um, my sister is, uh, she's just turned 21, she's in college, she's going to a lot of parties. And, um, she's going, she's telling me all these, like, weird theme parties she's been going to. One was, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of a stoplight party, which is where you go, you dress in either red, green, or yellow, obvs. Um, green is single, yellow, confused, uh, whatever, why are you there? Um, and red is taken, which even more so, why the fuck are you there? Why would that be? No, why would you bring a color code, people? No, don't show up to that party unless you're going green. I better show up to that party and assume it's, it's a St. Patrick's Day party in September. <laughs> why am I gonna, just gonna go in red and hang out with other reds? That's so, oh, whatever. I miss phone parties in college, though, though, because that's the only way to do that. We never go out to a phone party in Los Angeles. Oh, God. It's only the best time in college where you're, like, in bathing suits asking people what their major is, covered in soap. Whatever. Is it weed or is it soap? I don't know. We have a really great show tonight for you guys. <laughs>